हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मनोज कुमार वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ईसी एट एम एल आर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हैदराबाद टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर टॉक ऑन इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर इज अ टाइप ऑफ पैसिव ट्रांसड्यूसर इन अर्लियर लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस वेरियस टाइप ऑफ पैसिव ट्रांसड्यूसर लाइक रजिस्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर कैपेसिटिव ट्रांसड्यूसर इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर ऑल आर अंडर पैसिव टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसड्यूसर दिस इज बेसिक ओवरव्यू ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अ इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर वाई इट इज कॉल्ड इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट देन आई विल टेकिंग द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल and finally some of the application of inductive transducer so as the name is suggesting inductive transducer so there will be change in the inductance there will be change in the inductance so whenever some physical quantity like displacement pressure force anything is applied on a inductive transducer there will be change in the inductance of a inductive transducer the induct some of the inductive transducer commercially look like this okay so inductive transducer as we know that what is its purpose primarily it is used to measure the force displacement or position this is the purpose of a inductive transducer so let us understand what are the key parameter involved in the inductive transducer first thing is sensitivity sensitivity is nothing but the change in inductance change in inductance per unit change in input here input denotes the physical quantities physical quantity so sensitivity denotes the change in inductance per unit change in the physical quantities physical quantities here denotes force pressure displacement other etc the sensitivity of an inductive transducer must be very very high second thing is the linearity of inductive transducer the inductive transducer must be highly linear there should be perfect linear relationship between input and output input here denotes the physical quantities displacement temperature displacement force position etc and output denotes the change in inductance so there should be a perfect linear relationship between the physical input and the change in inductance for a inductive transducer third is that it should be highly stable and it should not have any impact of any environmental conditions so let us classify the inductive transducer based on operating principle we have self inductive transducer self inductive transducers measures change in self inductance self inductive transducer will have the change in the self inductance in mutual inductive transducer there will be change in the mutual inductance between the coils obviously for mutual inductive transducer we must have two coils and for self inductive transducer we should have a single coil so based on the operating principle we can categorize self inductive or mutual inductive transducer based on application we have displacement sensors which will measure the linear movement and we have force sensor that will convert the 
फोर्स इंटू डिसमेंट फॉर द इंडक्टेंस वेरिएशन सो बेस्ड ऑन ऑपरेटिंग प्रिंसिपल एंड बेस्ड ऑन द एप्लीकेशन वी हैव डन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग एनी इंडक्टिव ट्रांसड्यूसर क्वाइल इज क्वाइल इज ने Without coil, we can't construct the inductive transducer. So take one coil and wound it on any core. It may be iron core or any core. So whenever the there is a displacement of iron core, there will be change in the magnetic flux linkage inside the coil. and whenever there is change in the magnetic flux linkage in the coil there will be proportional change in the output so here we can see the displacement of coil or displacement of core not the coil coil is static only only core will get displaced and whenever the core is get displaced there will be change in the magnetic flux linkage inside the coil and whenever there is change in the magnetic flux linkage there will be a voltage generated by the electromagnetic induction if there is more amount of displacement change there will be more amount of output so in this way we can detect the magnitude of displacement in terms of change in output voltage so this is the basic construction of a inductive type transducer how to construct a inductive transducer in this slide we will discuss what are the key components key components are nothing but the coil we have already i discussed without a coil we can't design any inductive transducer take one coil wound it on a core it core may be iron core or any core you wound that coil on a core develop a sensing mechanism that will convert the physical input physical input means displacement pressure into change in the core position so we have to develop a mechanism using coil and core so that whenever there is displacement of core there is change in the output voltage across the coil fourth thing is housing housing already i discussed that it will protect the entire circuitry from any environmental damage so by using coil coil by using coil core sensing mechanism and housing we can develop a small inductive transducer as already i discussed this transducer will work on the principle of electromagnetic induction suppose this was a coil wounded on any core and whenever this core was displaced manually there will be change in the magnetic field inside the coil and whenever there is change in the magnetic field or magnetic flux in the coil there will be change in the voltage across the coil so in this way the core displacement will be converted into change in the output voltage so this is the working principle of a inductive transducer let us see what are the application of inductive transducer so it is very widely used for position sensing in machinery conveyor belt monitoring in aerospace sector it will used to detect the altitude and vibration measurement in automotive sector it is used as a brake and throttle position sensors in medical devices it can be used for the small displacement in diagnostic equipment thank you